Hey y'all, Coach in the Fight here, and in today's class, we're going to be talking about the Days of Remembrance. We will be doing our New Moon Prediction Report, getting ready for the sighting of the fourth month here in the year 2023. And we see over here in the Book of Jubilees that the New Moon of the fourth month, along with the first, the seventh, and the tenth, are the Days of Remembrance. These are those four days you hear about on the sacred calendar. The reason why there are 364 days. These days of remembrance make up those four days and you see exactly when they are to take place. So here at the beginning of the fourth month, we are expecting one of these days of remembrance. Now, first of all, let's come over here to timeanddate.com where we see that there is a 0% moon on June the 17th at 11.37 p.m. Of course, that is the 0% moon, which means there will be nothing that we can see on June the 17th. And by rule of thumb, we know that we have to fast forward 24 hours and then look to the next sunset for the sighting of the new moon, which will be around June the 19th. Now, of course, people will go out and look for the moon on June the 18th, but they're more than likely to see it on June the 19th. And that's when people will start blowing the trumpets in response to the new moon. And the new moon celebration will start that evening with the sighting of the new moon on June the 19th and of course will last until June the 20th. So the official day of Sivan 1 is June the 20th. So this would be that day of remembrance that we were talking about here, June the 20th. So let's come back to the book of Jubilees and read a little more about this day of remembrance. We see down here in verse 24 that Noah ordained all of these days as festival days. Again, 23 says they're in the first month, the fourth month, the seventh month, and the tenth month. The thing about the new moon of the seventh month, that's what we know as the memorial of blowing of trumpets. So that's a very special day in itself. The new moon in the tenth month falls during the festival of Hanukkah, toward the end of the festival of Hanukkah. So that day would have some attention paid to it too. The first month new moon is a cleansing period that we read about in scripture. The thing about the fourth month is that there's no other mention of it other than here in the book of Jubilees that it is a special day. So it is the most overlooked out of the four days of remembrance. All of that to say that maybe we all should ordain these days as special days for ourselves. These four days because we see that there's problems if we neglect these days, if we don't remember these days, if we don't pay attention to them and, you know, blow it off as if it's a old big never mind. You see down here in verse 32 that these four days are necessary in order to have a functional calendar. In other words, if we lose track of these four seasonal days, we will lose track of this calendar. You see here that it says that these days are necessary to constitute a complete year so that none of the days, the feasts, the Sabbaths or anything is disturbed. If we don't remember these days, they will get disturbed and we will get off track. Like we says there in verse 33, they will disturb the seasons, the years will get dislodged and they will neglect the ordinances. Well, the ordinances are the feast days and the other laws. And then you see in verse 34 that it says that the children of Israel will forget and will not find the paths of the years and will forget the new moons, the seasons, the Sabbaths. These are all a result of forgetting these days of remembrance. If we don't remember the days of remembrance, again, our calendar will get dislodged. And then this is what will happen as a result. Then you see down here in verse 35 is saying that 
these days could be in relationship to the Feast of the Covenant. So it could be, you know, why many of us don't recognize the covenant is because we've forgotten these days of remembrance. But notice right here in 36, I need to bring this out because many people get hung up on this verse. Let me go ahead and read it. It says, for there will be those who will assuredly make observations of the moon, how it disturbs the seasons and comes in from year to year, 10 days too soon. What this is talking about is those who do the monthly observations of the moon without the days of remembrance. This is exactly what happens. Matter of fact, let me go over and show you. We come over here and we're looking at a Ramadan schedule and you see how each year their festival day comes in 10 days sooner. For instance, if it's February the 18th in the year 2026, then it will be February the 8th in the year 2027. And notice that it never stops. Sometimes they have their festival in March and sometimes it'll be in November. Well, notice over here when we look at the Passover schedule for the next 10 years, theirs do something similar. You see, in 2024, they say that Passover was on April 23rd, and then in 2025, it's 10 days earlier, just like the Ramadan schedule is 10 days earlier each year. The next year, it goes to April the second, which is about 10 days earlier. But then notice how it jumps back to April the 22nd in 2027. And that's because of the days of remembrance. This, Those days of remembrance keep our calendar on track. Else it would be like the Muslim calendar where it just keeps going 10 days earlier, 10 days earlier every single year. We have the days of remembrance, so ours will reset and will stay in the proper seasons. And so don't be fooled when people bring this verse out and say that, you know, we're not supposed to observe the moon at all. We have to remember Genesis chapter one, which says that he made the moon as part of the calendar system. So it can't be ignored at all. So anybody who's using this verse to get us to ignore the observance of the moon is getting us also to forget these days of remembrance. And it's not in accordance with what we see here in Genesis chapter 1 verses 14 through 16. You see like there in verse 37, if we don't use these days of remembrance, then we'll start making an abominable day, a holy day, and we'll make a holy day an abominable day. Well, again, this is what we find in the uh, Muslim calendar, because you see here in the year 2030, they will be celebrating Ramadan around Christmas time. And Ramadan is a Passover type celebration with a lamb and everything. It's really the knockoff version of Passover when you look it up in the Quran. So they will be doing their Passover celebration in Christmas in the year 2030 and that's what the book of jubilees is talking about in verse 37 but you see it also says that they will go wrong as far as the months and the sabbaths and the feast and the even the jubilee year they don't really understand that there is a jubilee year coming up next year it's because they've lost track of these days of remembrance so these days of remembrance are really important like we said above, Noah made it a festival day, a pleasing day, a day of um, celebration. So that's about all we have as far as what we are supposed to be doing on this day, other than blowing the trumpets and the regular new moon stuff that we read about. If we find out more, we'll talk about it in an upcoming video. And Father willing, we will be also talking about the 13th month and how it'll actually fall in the summer season this year but look for another video on that make sure you have your subscription button pushed pray for us and shalom